Hi, welcome to another example in my series of proving trig identities. And what we've got here is to prove that cos A over sine A plus tan A is identical to 1 divided by sine A times cos A. So, how do we do it? Well, again, make sure you write proof. And we take the more complicated side of the identity and I would suggest that it's the left-hand side, which it generally is in most identities. It is, I think, in this one because it's got more terms. We've got a couple of terms here, one, two, and we've got to reduce it down to one term here. And we've got quite a lot of trig functions here, cos, sine, and tan, compared to what we've got over here. So clearly the left-hand side would be a good place to start. And in the usual way, you can either write left-hand side is identical to whatever, or you could just copy down the left-hand side. And that's what I'm going to do. Cos A, all divided by sine A, plus tan A, what is that identical to? So, what do I notice we've got here? One term. We've got two terms. So when I've got a fractional term and another term and I'm heading to one term, it makes me think I need to put things over a common denominator. And secondly, I see no tans in this answer over here. So I kind of want to think that maybe I should change tan A into something else that we should know. You should be familiar with the identity that tan of an angle is equal to sine of an angle divided by the cosine of the same angle. So in other words, what I'm saying is if we copy out the first term, cos A over sine A, plus, and then for this one, we use the identity that tan of an angle is, is equivalent to sine of an angle over the cosine of the same angle. So in this case, angle A. And as I said earlier, we've now got some fractions. We want to create one term as we have here, so we need to put this over a common denominator to create that one term. And what I could change both of these fractions into is a fraction with a denominator of sine A cos A. So this is looking quite hopeful. We've got the same denominator here as we have here. So in the usual way, what do you multiply uh, the denominator here of this fraction by to get this denominator? So you have to multiply sine A with a cos A. And so because you do that to the denominator, you must do the same to the top. So cos A times another cos A is going to give me cos squared A. Then we come on to this term here. So what do we multiply the cos A by to give sine A cos A, this denominator? Clearly sine A. So I need to multiply the top of the fraction by sine A. So we get sine squared A. Now, what do we notice on the top? What well, we've got, what we should already know, is a familiar identity. Cos squared A plus sine squared A is always identical to 1. So what we've got here is simply then 1 on the top all over sine A cos A. And so we've proved our identity. And if you started off up here with LHS, left-hand side is identical to, hopefully you'd have gone through these stages, make sure you finish with is identical to the right-hand side. But because I didn't write LHS, let's just remove that. And we've got our answer. All right? So, hope you've been able to follow this example, and that brings us now to the end of it.